Alright guys, this is a very, very kind of exciting, but also this is one of my most fun builds I've ever done. This is a £2,700 build. Now you might be thinking, that's a bit close to one of the other builds I did the other day, and that is correct, but this is going to be so much more fun. This, this is an interesting build. I've called this build the Sleeper, and that is for a reason. It is a very interesting build. Let's get into it. So to start off with, we're actually going to go with the motherboard. Now, you to start off with the CPU. We're going to start off with the motherboard. That is the focus point of this build. We've got an ASRock X99E ITX AC uh, uh, motherboard, which is you know capable of DDR4 and obviously housing the X99 processors. Uh, or sorry, the socket 2011-3 processors. Now this is an interesting board, not only because of its £190 price tag and the fact that it's ITX, but it's because it's got Wi-Fi built in, it's got plenty of features, it's got a high you know, feature set. Also comes with a cooler because it's using, I believe, the server mounting of CPU cooler, which is something that's a bit weird. It does come with its own cooler and it's made for kind of a sleeper style case, which is awesome because this is going to be a sleeper style build. And you know, you know, we're not going to be adding extra coolers with bit with this just because of that. And it's fun, and it's got loads of features, but 190 pounds is a hell of a lot of money to spend on a case. So let's move on to CPU, which you guys would have already predicted by the start of this video, and that is the Intel i7 5960X. So predictable, eight cores, 16 threads. It costs 830 pounds, and we could overclock this. I think we'd probably push it up to 3.5, maybe four gigahertz, just like 3.5, maybe because. It is quite, you know, the, the cooler isn't the best, but in the you know, the enclosure that we have, I think 3.5 gigahertz is manageable and is a decent performance boost. For RAM, this is interesting. We're going to go with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance low profile. And you might be thinking to me, you might be, say, you might be thinking in your head or, you know, saying to your computer screen, Ryan, what are you doing? You idiot. You've got 32 gigs, but you've only got two slots. Ah, that's where you're right, but also kind of wrong because it's actually two 16 gigabyte sticks because DDR4 is capable of this. It's actually capable of 32 gigs if you go up to ECC. But 16 gig sticks is a, a mainstream thing nowadays. And so that's going to cost us £200 and it's going to give us 32 gigs of RAM, which is an insane amount of RAM. For graphics card, I had to add this because it's a sleeper build. It's a NVIDIA GTX Titan X. And it's not, it's just like, how insane is that graphics card? 12 gigabytes of video RAM. It's going to look awesome, it's going to, you know, it's going to be decently quiet. And this one's from Gigabyte, it's going to cost us £800, and that's quite a lot for a graphics card, but 12 gigs of video RAM and everything, you're going to be able to render things for days, play games for days, and everything's just going to be such high quality. So, had to have this in. Obviously, it's got a blower style cooler, which is good because we are in an ITX enclosure, so it kind of exhausts everything out the back of the case. For SSD, we're going to go with Samsung. 850 Evo, 500 gigabyte SSD, but we're not going to go with just one of those. We're going to go with two of them. Put them in RAID 0 for one terabyte of one terabyte of RAID 0 extreme performance from Samsung. And you know, one terabyte is going to be a hell of a, a hell of a lot of space. You could even use part of it as a scratch disk if you wanted to when you're editing because it's going to make everything a lot quicker rendering and loading from the SSD instead of the hard drive. Talking of hard drives, we're going to go with one Western Digital Caviar Red 6TB and now you're going to be thinking, you're stupid, what are you even doing? This is a NAS hard drive or you know something that's rated for NAS and you know uh, backup. But because of just how reliable this drive is, I just had to add it in. Okay, it's a little bit slower, but it's good at backing things up. It's going to cost £190 and it's going to be an absolute steal because 6TB of Western Digital Red performance and you know the reliability of the drive is just it's going to be so much worth it you know so much more worth it than maybe buying a cheaper drive and then it dying out and you not having a backup that's that's the important part western is still make great drives and this one's no exception for the power supply we're going to go with a superflower lead x platinum 750 watt fully modular 80 plus platinum power supply this is going to cost 100 pounds which is really cheap for something like this 750 watts again is probably overkill, but just having it there, just being able to uh, to expand if you wanted to, you just keep the power supply changed in motherboard, you know, something like that. Very, very good power supply. It's going to cost you 100 pounds. Superflyer make great power supplies. I probably ranted about them too much, so let's move on to the case, which is a Corsair Obsidian 250D, which is a tiny little micro ITX chassis, which or mini ITX chassis, and it's going to be great. It's going to cost 76 pounds. 
which is not that much for a case of this caliber. Remember, it is Corsair, so it's going to be made well. It's going to, you know, have a great feature set. It's going to have, uh, you know, innovative ways of mounting drives. And it's a great case. I like the Corsair cases, and this one's no exception. So there we go, guys. I believe that is everything, looking through all my notes. The whole lot in a tiny little cube case, which I love the idea of. 8 cores, 16 threads, 32 gigs of RAM, 12 gigs of video memory, a Titan X, 6 terabytes of hard drive space, and a 1 terabyte RAID 0 drive, basically, as one drive in Windows. That is an absolutely amazing amazing little box and say you wanted it in an office which is upstairs it's got wi-fi built into the board ac wi-fi so everything just comes together very well i once again wouldn't recommend wi-fi but if you wanted to it is there and the whole thing comes to 2700 pounds and this again is a similar price to a build i did the other day but this one's a hell of a lot more fun because you can just pack it into a small case you know it hasn't got leds it hasn't got you know air it's kind of a very understated look to it a very clean look but the computer goes like anything. It's probably the fastest computer I'd ever, you know, consider making um, for anything. Because you can game on this, you can video edit on this, you can do whatever you want on this system. It's amazing. And there you go, guys. So this is going to be the end of the video, the end of the, the, the build. It's a very fun build. And hopefully I've edited this well. With Once again, this kind of angle is probably the last you'll see of this angle. I might change it, I might not. I might keep it the way it is. But it's just the way I'm filming in bulk at the moment. I'm filming two or three videos at a time. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, check out the social media in the description. Please leave a like. Please share it, this with your friends. This will be going in the build series. Hope you enjoy this series. And I hope you enjoy this video as well. So go check out www.failtech.co.uk to see all of the videos and also the uh, articles that we write and the, the written reviews we do of products. And uh, we will see you later. Peace. Okay, unfortunately guys, this is going to be an end to the build series. It's just not that I'm not getting any views or anything, but I'm just not enjoying making these anymore. They were fun to start with, but if you guys really want them, then please let leave feedback and I will bring them back. But at the moment, I'm just not enjoying making them. So thanks for watching this series, guys, and we'll see you later.